Uh, now we're going to practice dividing with decimals. Here's your first problem. There are going to be three of them. I want you to write this problem down on your communicator. I want you to try and solve it on your own. Pause the video while you're doing this. And when you're done, check your answer. If you've got it right, you go to the next problem. If you don't, you watch how I do it. Go ahead and pause it. Did you get 8 and 56 hundredths? If you did, go to problem 2. And if you didn't, watch how I got it. The first thing I do with this problem is I check to see if there's a decimal point in my divisor, and there isn't. And then I look at my dividend. There's a decimal point here, and that's totally okay, so I'm going to float it straight up. And once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and use my strategy of covering up all the numbers but the ones I'm working with. How many groups of five can I get out of four? Zero. It's bigger than four. Five times zero is zero. When I subtract, I have four left over. Down comes my next number. How many groups of five out of 42? I can get eight groups of five out of 42. Eight times five is 40. I have two left over, down comes my last number. How many groups of 5 out of 28? I can get 5. 5 times 5 is 25. And I have 3 left over. You cannot have a remainder when you have a decimal point in your answer. You have to add a 0 and you have to drop it down. Now, how many groups of 5 out of 30? I can get 6. 6 times 5 is 30, and I'm done because there's no, nothing left over. I want you to notice that for every number in my dividend, there's a number in my quotient. And notice how I line them up. Here's problem number 2. I want you to write this problem on your communicator and see if you can solve it. If you've got it right, go to problem three. If you don't, we'll do the problem together. Go ahead and pause your video now. Did you get 214 thousandths? If you did, move on to problem three. If you didn't, let's do this problem together. Okay, the first thing I look for, again, is to see if I have any decimal points in my divisor, and I don't. And then in my dividend, and I do, which is fine, and I can move it straight up, just like that. Okay, I'm going to use the strategy of covering up everything with the number that I'm working with. I can't get any groups of 20 out of 4, so I write a 0. 20 is bigger than 4. 4 minus 0 is 4. Down comes my 2. And now, how many groups of 20 can I get out of 42? I can get two groups of 20 out of 42. 2 times 20 is 40. I have two left over. Down comes my next number. How many groups of 20 can I get out of 28? I can get 1. 1 times 20 is 20. I have 8 left over. I can't have a remainder when I have a decimal point, so I have to add a 0 and drop it down. How many groups of 20 out of 80? I can get 4 groups. 4 times 20 is 80. And now I have nothing left over. Again, I have everything lined up. And here's the last problem. I want you to write this problem down. Remember, you cannot have a decimal point in your divisor. So you're going to have to move it both in the divisor and in the dividend. Go ahead and pause the video and see if you can get this right. Did you get 14 and 68 hundredths? If you did, you're finished. If you didn't, let's watch and see how we do that. Okay, first thing I do is I look to see if there is a decimal point in my divisor, and there is. 
I need to move that so it goes away. If I move it to the end, it'll go, it'll go to the end and it can disappear. But if I move this one one time, I have to move this one, the same number. Notice this time it did not go away, so I can't get rid of that one. I'm going to go ahead and erase the first decimal point and the little arrows. The decimal point went to the end, so I can get rid of it, and that was the point of moving it. I get rid of the first decimal point and the arrow. It did not go to the end, so the decimal point has to stay there. And now I'm going to float that decimal point straight up. Cover up everything but the number I'm working with. How many groups of 5 out of 7? I can get 1. 1 times 5 is 5, and I have 2 left over. Down comes my next number. How many groups of 5 out of 23? I have 4. 4 times 5 is 20. I have 3 left over. And down comes my last number. How many groups of 5 out of 34? I can get 6. 6 times 5 is 30. And I have 4 left over. You cannot have a remainder when there's a decimal point in your answer. I have to add a zero, and then I have to drop it down. How many groups of 5 out of 40? 8. 8 times 5 is 40, and I'm done. Again, notice for every number in my dividend, I have a number in my quotient, or my answer. The answer is 14 and 68 hundredths. You're done.